Hello! Welcome to my first ever YouTube video. Today I'm going to paint a dog portrait that was commissioned through my Etsy shop. A hot beverage to keep things cozy. And we're ready to start. I always start with putting down the lightest color as a base for my portrait, which is a pale golden color in this case. I'm using a very diluted raw umber mixed with a bit of lavender. I just recently added the color lavender to my palette and honestly, I don't know how I've painted without it. I'm obsessed. I also like to do the lettering part at the beginning because every once in a while I mess up this part and then the whole piece is ruined. It's almost impossible to cover up a mistake in watercolor. For the nose, I'm using a mix of magenta and a brownish color. This doggy has a reddish brown color except the ears which are beige gold and look like curly locks. So I'm adding a darker layer everywhere except the ears and then blending it out with a touch of lavender into the mix. The ears are a bit complicated because of the curls and it's important to sculpt things first before going in with details whilst not losing the lighter highlights. To speed up the drying, I use my handy dandy hair dryer. What? Let's paint his eyeballs so he can see. Dogs and cats, they always look like they're wearing a smoky eye makeup, which I love. At this point, I realize that I can't see my sketch lines anymore, so I have to resketch with my brush. The shape and size of the muzzle is very important. It can make or break the cuteness of your model. Another important factor is the size of the mouth. Usually, the smaller the cuter. Now I'm trying to paint the curls and it's a bit tricky with watercolor because you have to paint around the lighter highlights. It's sort of like reverse engineering? <laughs> I don't know. It requires some brain work, especially since I don't have a thorough base sketch. Now it's getting to that stage where the painting looks a bit lost and I'm not sure if things are still going well. It happens sometimes, but usually it gets resolved later with more details. The more tricky part are the ears, so let's tackle that first. I always squint my eyes and try to see the big blocks of shape. It helps to keep things three-dimensional and not get too lost in the detail.
shaping the curls. By the way, please excuse the terrible reflection of my lamplight. As I said, it's my first video and nobody's perfect the first time, right? In more sculpting and adding hairy details. Now this is my favorite part, which is adding highlights to the eyes. It instantly gives the eyes depth and life. Dogs have a wet nose, so I always add highlights here too. In this case, I started with a white gel pen, but it was a bit too harsh, so I'm switching to colored pencil. Also adding some fur highlights with colored pencil. Although later deciding the color is not right and switching to a more warmer gold. And we're done. Here is Brody in all his curly glory. I hope you enjoyed this video. I sure enjoyed sharing it with you. And I hope to see you again next time. Bye!